Hey guys, this is Dobson Ishmael. Today's tutorial is going to be in two sections. So the first one is going to be in this video and the next one is going to be in a different video. So I'm basically going to take a look at how to work with cards and have a design like this. So you have the icon position to the left and then you have the test position to the right. Let me just preview this in the browser so you can see it. And then as part of that, which is for the second one, is also going to look at how we can add animations to um, this particular line as part of the entire card. So if you notice, once I hover or put a cursor over this card, the line over here extends. And once I take it off, it goes back to its original position. These are various ways you can add um, interactivity to your website. So you're going to get started with how to position the icon to the left, the text to the right. And then in the next video, it will be to how, how to position or how to animate a line. And then um, once you hover over the entire card, the line extends and once you take it off, it goes back to its original position. So without not talking further, let's get started. Now this can be done either with version 16 or 17 of Wizard Web Builder. But for this particular tutorial, I'm going to get started with version 17 so i'm going to create uh let me just create a new page blank page on this project i'm working on and then i'll come to the card tool and then um, click on it and then draw on the canvas here what i'm going to do next is simply double click on the card tool and then get rid of every item i have in it so i need to have a blank card like this and then I'll double click on it again and click on add to be able to add my first item. And this is going to be the icon. Now in the card, you notice that there isn't any icon over here. So I'm going to select button because button allows you to be able to add icons to whatever element is in the button. So as you can see, I have an icon here. Now, because I'm only interested in having an icon, I don't need to put any text as part of my button. So I'll just select the icon here. And in this case, I'll select any icon at all. So let me just scroll through and see which of the icons will interest me. So let me just select this one. Click on OK. And when I click on OK and click on OK, you notice that the size of the icon is very small. So to be able to change the size, you simply come back to your card properties, double click on the button you've added, and then go to style. Now, when you come to style, you notice that there isn't any way to change the size of icon as an icon size. However, what you can do instead is to change the size of the font. In this particular position, the icon is being regarded as part of the font or the text. So when you come here, you can change the size of this to about 32 pixels. And when you click on OK and click on OK, you notice that the size of the icon becomes bigger here. Now, one thing I'm going to do more is double click back on this and then change the alignment to the left instead of center. So I'll select left and then I'll click on OK. What I'm going to do next is to add my text that I'm going to need and my um, card here. So I click back here on the card properties and then click on add and then click on test. Now this particular test, I need to type in something to um, my first card practice. And um, maybe I might want to change the size to 11, change the font type to Montserrat and uh, maybe make this bold. That's for the font weight. And then I'll click on OK, click on OK. Now you notice that once I add the text, it comes to the bottom of the icon. Now that's not what I'm interested in doing. So before I continue with the entire process, let me just add one more text. Let me just get uh, the Lorem Epsom text so I can use it to populate my next text that I'm going to add. So. I'm just going to do like 10 words, which is fine. So I'll copy this. Let me get rid of this. And then double click and come back to my card properties. 
click on add, click on test, and then paste this test here. And then I'll change my font family to Montserrat. And then the font size is going to be 10 here. I'll click on OK, click on OK. And as you can see, this also comes beneath or at the bottom of my first text. Now I am done adding my um, object or my element, which is the icon and my two text. The next thing for me to do is to move either my icon or my text to the position I want to have them. So there are two ways you can do this. You simply double click on your card tool. The first way is to change the position of the icon. So if I come to the um, button section or I double click on the button, I simply come to margin and then I'm going to move this to the left. Now, if I increase the values over here, it is going to move to the right. That is a positive values. You can see that. So instead of using positive values, I'm rather going to use negative um, values. So I'll come here and then I'll use negative 30 to see where that is going to be positioned. You notice that this moves the um, icon a bit away from our card. This doesn't mean it is away from our card. It's actually still within our card. So I'll double click on this again and then come back to margin and then increase this to about negative 40 and then click on OK, click on OK. And then I, you know, I think I need a little bit more room. So I'll, I'll make a negative 50 instead, which should be fine. And then for my text, so I double click on this one and then under the margin section, if I, so what I'm interested in is at the top part. So if I change this also to the 30, you notice that it moves everything down. So instead, I'm rather going to change this to negative, let's say 40 to see where it takes that. And as you can see, this um, gives me almost close to what I want. What I need to do next is either add more um, margin to my icon or I can even add margin to my text over here. But if I'm going to do for my text, it means I have to do for both text over here. So instead, I'll add margin to my um, text, um, the icon instead. So this is going to be negative 60. And when I click on OK, you notice that I have good spacing. Now, when I go to preview this in the browser, you notice I am achieving close to what I want. What I would want to do next is just take away the border of the entire card. So I'll come to the card properties and then come to style. And then I'll take away the width of the border, making it zero, the radius zero, and then change the border to none and click on OK. And then when I preview this again, you notice that I'm achieving exactly what I wanted to do. Now, the other way is if, let me just change this, um, undo this back to its um, default state. The other way is rather moving the text to the right. So in this case, the icon still remains where it is. So when I double click on this and then come to the text section, I come to margin and then I'm interested in pushing the text away from the edge or the border of this card. By the default, the size of the icon is 30 pixels. So I'm going to start by trying 30 pixels to see where the position is going to be. So you notice this isn't enough. So um, I want to do more. So I change this rather to 50. And then as you can see, this is a bit okay. And then I'll do same for the next text, which is also going to be 50. And then when I click on okay, you notice that has been achieved. So the next thing is for me to move this one up so the top is going to be negative 30 click on ok click on ok you notice it's taking me up so i need to increase it a little bit more so this is going to be negative um, 40 and that is going to be okay and then if i um i want i might want to increase the spacing here a little bit more so i'll click on margin and this is going to be negative um, 60 instead and then click on OK. This is also going to be 60 and then click on OK. Now, if I preview this in a browser, you notice that I have the same results. So I just have to take away my border again 
because I undid what I had previously. So I'll change this to zero, this to zero, and this to none. Click on OK. When I preview this again, this should be fine. So as you can see, there are two ways of going about it. You may ask why two ways and which one is better? Well, it depends on how you're going about your design. You notice with the first one, I only had to be working with the position of the icons and leave the text in their place and then just have to move them up. But with this, I rather have to be working with the text. So um, if you have a lot more text, it means you have to do this individually. But if you have just one icon, uh, you can just do it um, using the first process and you still achieve the same result. So basically, that is just about it for this tutorial. We will take a look at adding the line as well as animating it in the next um, video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.